Hey, good morning, YouTube. It's Tanya, BSG Tanya 2011. A morning video. That's unusual. I never do this, but I'm kind of excited about something. So, uh, let me do my numbers first, and then I'll, I'll get to the other stuff. Um, I am in week 50, and at the beginning of my journey, I was 272.8. On my day of surgery, November 17, 2011, I was 255.6. And last week, week 49, I have been up two pounds. I was 167.1. And I was kind of about it. And I knew it was fluid. So I, I stayed away from the scale um, for several days. I think I weighed on Sunday. And I was 165, no, 164.1. So I was like, yay, I lost those two pounds, and I lost another pound, so that was good. Um, but you know, my weekends never stick, so I'm always lower on the weekend, so I was like, eh, whatever. So um, this morning I got up, and let me just, I'll talk about Halloween in a minute, but I indulged on Halloween, so I was like, uh, maybe I shouldn't weigh this morning because, uh, you know. But I'm like, no, Thursday's my weigh-in day. I have to weigh in. So I got to face the music if I screwed up, right? Okay. Y'all, 163.1. The lowest weight I've ever seen on the scale, ever. I'm down four pounds this week. Please do not ask me how I did this because I don't know. Um, I don't know. And I, and I don't know if it'll stick. I, I mean, I may be, I'll probably bounce back up next week because I am just like in total shock because let me tell you okay yesterday we had fun for Halloween I took the day off of work and so did my husband um because my kid's school does a fall fest every year let's see if I can block this there we go um my, my kid's school does a fall fest every year and they um it's like a fair and they get to play games and they had a photo booth and then all stuff and the kids get to dress up and the parents dress up if they want to too and so my daughter and I uh, dressed up uh match and we were uh, pink ladies the pink ladies um so that was cute and um it's just fun to be out there but i did eat a little bit of candy when i was out there I had a packet of skittles and a tootsie roll um i mean it's not like a big deal right um i did not drink enough water yesterday but eh, whatever okay so then last night for trick-or-treating we changed costumes and um, I dressed up like Snow White yesterday, and that uh, it's the first time I wore a Halloween costume, and I felt pretty, you know, like girly pretty. So that I, I enjoyed that too. Um, we had a fun night last night. Um, so I did eat some garbage, and, and when I look back, at, I think I felt worse about it while I was eating than what it really was. Um, I had a little bit of uh, chili, but I mean like probably like a half a cup, like not hardly anything. And then I had figured in, um, I had made a dip, um, a fit called Fiesta Dip. It's almost like a like a um, creamy taco flavor dip, but it, the recipe called for a cup of mayonnaise and a cup of sour cream. So I used a cup of Faye zero percent in, in place of the sour cream. I did a half a cup of the uh, light mayonnaise and a half a cup of real mayonnaise, only because I was afraid it, that changing the recipe completely was going to really make it taste nasty. It tasted perfectly fine. It tasted just like the regular stuff. And for a two tablespoon serving, it was only 86 calories. And so, I'm not, I mean, I, it's not like I'm measuring out how many tablespoons of dip I'm eating. I probably ate a little bit more than two tablespoons, but I'd also gotten these Halloween um, tortilla chips, and I factored that into my calories, and then I still had um, a few hundred calories um, factored for candy, in which I did eat candy. Um, I ate some um, Butterfinger and um, what else? A couple of Tootsie Rolls. So when I look back at it, and I did eat like maybe six or seven pieces of candy corn. When I look back at it, I figure, you know, it really wasn't, like, a complete wash, but I wasn't, you know, okay, let me, let me just, where should I start? It just was I wasn't on my A-game for Halloween, but that's okay, because, you know, it's a holiday, and I'm back on my A-game today. Um, so, anyway, 
you know, if you follow, if you follow my channel at all, and if you haven't, I'll catch you up. I have a, a, a issue with peanuts and um, well, any kind of nuts really, and peanut butter. I love both of those things, and um, it's not so much the calories and the stats and all that go with them, um, because I always factor that when I eat when I eat it, I factor it into my calories for the day and. And I try not to exceed my 1,200, 1,250 uh, calories a day. And I, and I usually don't. Um, and, so it's not that. It's the the feeling of being out of control that I can't stop myself from eating something more than the actual food itself, if that makes sense. Um, before I had surgery, I would eat can um, little mini candy bars mindlessly. Like, mindlessly. And felt completely out of control. And I do not like how that feels. And I kind of get that same feeling when I eat peanut butter or um, peanuts. Or any kind of nuts. So, um, I, I think it was last last week or this past week, I was watching um, a video from um, Healthy Life for BBJ. And I'll put her um, YouTube name under, underneath. I think it's Healthy Life number four BBJ um, Barbara. She's in Chicago, and she was saying that she has a terrible addiction to chocolate, and um, she said everything is always on point with everything for her except for eating chocolate. And you know, like what can she do? And so I thought, you know, I I'm sure a lot of us have that one thing that's our trigger food that we just you feel out of control about it. You cannot eat it in moderation. And so I had suggested that if she wanted to have a partner, maybe we could go in it together and try and go cold turkey and cut the things that are our problem foods out cold turkey because I don't think it's something that we can eat in moderation where there's a certain food, when you're a food addict, there's certain foods that you cannot eat in moderation as much as you want. Um, I'm like that way with bread. I have cut bread out completely and I don't even really miss it anymore. Um, so I thought, well, maybe we'll try it, you know, if we do it together and you feel like somebody's in it with you and, and depending on you to do the right thing, it's more than just being accountable to yourself. So I'm calling on anybody, if any of you out there have that one food, that one thing that you, you feel out of control, and even if you're keeping it in your calorie count, it's not the calorie count, it's the feeling of being out of control. Um, if you want to participate, I mean, I, don't, I, I, have, I really just thought about this this morning when I watched the video this morning, but um, I think it would be good to have a, a partner to do this together, and I thought, you know, with the holidays coming up, maybe what we could do is say that Thanksgiving Day and Christmas Day, um, we have a pass. That's the one day that we are allowed to eat that one food that sets us off. Um, that way we have something to look forward to and it doesn't seem um, so daunting to um, just be giving it up and never look back and never going to have it again. I mean, eventually I think I might have to get to that point because um, when you're a food addict, you know, it's like being an alcoholic. If you have one drink, it may set you off and then you get back drinking again. Kind of the same thing with, um, you know, your trigger food. So, but, but baby steps, you know, let's maybe try it in November. We'd have... Thanksgiving that we could have that, that one thing that sets us off and Christmas we'd have Christmas Day that we could have the one thing that sets us off so if anybody wants to participate um, put a comment below or um, send me a personal message whatever um, but I think it would be fun to, to try this and I guess we need to come up with a start date um, luckily I finished off my peanuts um, the day before yesterday I have no more peanuts I have no nuts in the house and um, I'm always going to have peanut butter in the house because my son likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. But I'll just have to learn how to control myself with that. So, anyway, let me know if anybody wants to participate. I think it would be fun if we all did this together. All right? Y'all go out and have a great week and go out and make it happen. Bye, y'all.